हेलो एंड वेलकम टू आवर फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग क्लास विद विचुअल स्टूडेंट सपोर्ट सर्विसेज यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू आर लर्निंग फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग होम बेसिक्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव टक अबाउट अकाउंटिंग इक्वेशन एंड आई हैव टेक एन एन एग्जाम्पल एंड फॉल विथ एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द लेसन आई रिकमेंड यू टू डाउनलोड द एक्सर फाइव फाइल the link of these exercise file in the description and try to solve these uh, because practice makes a man a perfect in the last uh, i have also described the rules for debit and credit in our today's class uh, we have uh, taken an example uh, of classification of accounts with respect to the debit and credit and see how it will be debited and see how it will be credited in the last session we have talked about different types of account if its expensive liabilities and tells you when uh, it will be increases it may be a debited and credited in this session we have taken an example of these uh, accounts if its liabilities and expenses and uh, tell you that okay, how it will be debited and how it will be credited uh, in the last we talk about the uh, flow of a transaction um before starting our today's class i will share uh, a, a a quotation with you uh, the quotation is written by kanenthan clay uh, the quotation is aggressive accounting does not mean illegal accounting with this quotation we have started our today's class as we have early discussed with you uh, that uh, i have taken an example of a rules for debit and credit and tell you when account will be debited and when account will be credited the illustration is the following transaction is get from the small trader for the month of march in the first transaction he started business with cash 95000 dollar in the second transaction uh, he purchased goods for cash 140000 dollar uh, in the third transaction purchase good on credit from mr big trader 57000 dollar in the fourth transaction he sold good for cash of 5000 dollar in the last transaction he purchased office equipment for business uh uh 4000 dollar now we have seen that uh, which account will be debited and which account will be credited and when uh, it will be increases or decrease uh, to solve uh, this illustration uh, we have uh, follow the rules of debit and credit uh, which we have been discussed in our previous uh, lecture uh, before starting uh, uh, this uh, illustration and uh, trying to solve this uh, illustration uh, first of all we have seen the uh, transaction one by one and i have entered in the books of account the first transaction is uh, start business with cash 95000 in this transaction uh, we uh, have a fall with uh, to fall this we have uh, uh, we have make an chart which include following column account involved account increase or decrease debit and credit for this transaction number 1 now uh, we have make a two account one is cash and other is uh, capital account it belong to effort uh, because cash is an effort of the company and it will be increases so that when the effort is increases it will be debited so in the debit side we have put the value of 95000 dollar uh, this transaction have effect the two account Uh, namely cash and capital capital account is uh, our equity it will also increases uh, and when the uh, balance of equity is increases it will be put it into the credit side uh, so uh, we have put the a uh, balance of 95000 dollar in the credit side because when the equity is increases it will be posted into the credit file it is the rule of thumb it is the rule for debit and credit in the second transaction he purchased good for cash uh 40000 dollar 
uh, for this transaction we have make a, an other entry uh, in this transaction two accounts are involved uh, one is ca purchases and second one is cash cash is uh, going from us so it will be credited and goods or purchases uh, will come to us so that it will be debited if we are uh, fo following the rules of debit and credit which we have discussed in the previous lecture then the purchases will increase uh, it means it will come to our expenses when the expenses is increases it will be debited so we have put a value of forty thousand dollar in the debit five on the other hand the second account is cash account cash is going from us uh, cash is belong to our effort effort is decreases and when the effort is decreases it will be credited uh, in the third transaction we he purchased goods on credit from mr big traders 57000 dollar in this transaction uh, uh, we have also purchased uh, some other goods but not on cash uh, goods are purchased on the basis of credit from mr big so uh, uh, it will affect the purchases account and purchases account will belong to expense account. Our expenses increases and when the expenses increases, the rule of debit and credit is uh, expense is increases and it will be debited. And the second account is payable account and uh, this is our liability account and when the liability is increases, it will be uh, put it into the credit side. <coughs> this is also the rule of thumb and, and uh, the rule of debit and credit. In the fourth transaction, uh, he sold goods for cash. It means cash is coming to us and goods being going from us. Uh, fourth tra transaction have also affected the two accounts, cash and uh, goods uh, or sale. Cash is belong to effort. Effort is increases and we have put the 5000 in the debit side of uh, this uh, chart. Uh, on the other hand, when goods are going, our sale is increases. Sales means our revenue is generated. Reven when revenue is generated, it belongs to credit side. So we have put the value of 5000 in the credit side of this chart. The last transaction is he purchased office equipment for the business 4000 dollar this will also affect the two account one is equipment and second one is cash equipment belongs to if it if it increases it means okay it will be debited by 4000 and the second account is cash cash belong to uh, also if it uh, but in this transaction cash is decreases it means okay, if it is decreases when the effort is decreases the value of effort is put into the credit side of this chart and we have put the value of four thousand dollar in the credit side so uh, dear students this is the rule of debit and credit and uh, we have taken an example and uh, solve it in front of you uh, to uh, better understanding the concept of rule and of debit and credit now uh, we have uh, starting on our uh, new topic uh, it is namely flow of transaction uh, but in this lecture we have only seen the flow of transaction uh, from the next lecture we have start the example of accounting uh, flow of transaction in the first step we have an event and event mean something is happening uh, or this event may be in a monetary term uh, it means it will uh, uh, attach the monetary value. After that, uh, we uh, come to the voucher. Voucher is the documentary evidence of any event or transaction. This is the second uh, step of the transaction. In the next step, we have make the general journal. Uh, uh, journal journal is also the third step of flow of transaction. From the journal journal, we have draw. Uh, and posted the journal entries into the ledger. Ledger means ledger is a separate record of each transaction, yeah, each related transaction. Uh, from the ledger, we have make a trial balance. Trial balance. Uh, after that, we have make the two uh, financial statements, namely profit and loss account and balance sheet. Profit and loss account show the financial position of the. Uh, 
business and balance sheets show the effects and liabilities of the business. This is the flow of transaction. Uh, we have uh, uh, discussed uh, more detail uh, uh, on the these points in the next lecture. Till the next lecture, uh, keep watching virtual student support services YouTube channel for the next financial accounting class. Thank you very much. Take care.